Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Pertagon style nymph and I'm going to use Hemingways and Bearskin Outfitters put together a nice Pertagon uh, nymph selection. This is Micro Glint. Let me widen that out there a bit from Bearskin Outfitters. Micro Glint Pertagon Nymph Selection and you can get this from Amazon.com slash shops slash Bearskin Outfitters He has 25 other products on the Amazon right now and we'll be adding more in, in the coming year He also here is uh the Bearskin Outfitters Pro Guide selection and the price on these is is good it's actually very good uh, you get eight different colors there's the Pro Guide this is twisted and also six ot six ot up here and this is twisted here and uh, this is really going to be some really good strong thread when you're tying streamers and stuff that you need some some backbone to it. With the micro glint, here we have eight different colors again, and uh, once again, very. It, I think it's a really good deal. Okay, I'm going to to use the pink on this one. Let me zoom that in a bit so we can get closer. Here we go. And we're just going to start this just like any other fly. This is a size 12 hook with a 3 millimeter rainbow bead on there. You can see that rainbow. There you go. I thought the rainbow would good to go good with the pink. Since I haven't seen too many things in the water that is actually pink. Quick little story. I, I uh, tied shrimp once and when I after I met one of my fishing partners who has since passed, but uh, he fished saltwater a lot and I one and I was all excited to show him, look, I made shrimp, I made shrimp. And his answer was, oh, look, they're already cooked. <laughs> so that was that. But we're going to use a, this is a gray or a blue done tail we're going to put on here. We're not going to put a lot of them on. Yeah, maybe about five or six. With Pertagons, you want them to sink really fast, and that's the whole design around them, is that they sink fast. And one of the reasons that they sink fast is there's nothing on there to stop them, to hold them in, to, to catch the current, or what it, to get them to slow down there's nothing sticking out no fluff or anything like that to stick out I'm just twisting it tight because it separated there a little bit a wrapper too will secure that there we go so and also with this thread you can get those those touching turns pretty easily because this is a pretty pretty hefty thread there we're gonna go ahead and wrap that that hackle right in no sense in cutting if you don't have to then we're gonna bring that right to the bead and then we're gonna make a taper so we're gonna go back and forth a couple of times and we're not gonna go as far on each successive wrap Try to keep those wraps nice and tight, but I'm also going to UV put UV cure on this, so that's going to kind of eliminate those wraps, the, ne the necessity of keeping really tight wraps. You can see that's very 
very pink. I'm gonna give it a one quick uh, half hitch. Just use my finger there. And I'm going to apply my UV cure, and the UV cure that I'm using still is the Deer Creek Diamond. This is Diamond Fine. Piece of something on there. And this is 100% tack free. Keep the majority up towards the top there. And with the UV Cure, you can get this, make kind of make a taper on it yourself with just with UV Cure. That's about as much as I need there. You can see where it's, it's dripping towards the head right now. And it levels out very easily. I'm sure with the UV cures you can get thicker ones or thinner ones and just kind of bring that back just to cover everything up there we go I'm gonna clean off my needle there and you can just rotate that the reason I left the thread on is I'm going to add a little bit of material to it because I like to have something else besides just the, that plain uh, pertagon. I'm going to take my light and cure this now. And if you use UV cure and uh, use the light I, I know I've said it before. I got a piece, a sheet of uh, diamond, diamond tape or diamond. Just it was a whole sheet. So I put it on. This is just a piece of a hook package. But what I do with this is I hold it around the nymph itself and shine the light in there, and that helps bounce the light around, and it also helps protect your eyes from getting the harmful UV rays in your eyes. Just a couple of seconds, and that is cured. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put just a little bit of, just a speck of dubbing, because like I said, I like, to, I like to have a little bit of something on there. But I'm going to use just a little bit of my uh, black rabbit uh, crystal dub. So I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to open this up. Just kind of separate those threads. I'm sure, if I twist it, it will still get separated. Don't know if I twisted it the right way or not. And if I did it the wrong way. But you saw before that it'll open up. But I'm just going to take a little bit of that black rabbit. Just a small amount, even if even if the crystal dub didn't get in there. But I think there did. And the reason I'm, I'm not going full Pertagon here is because when I, when I nymph fish, personally, when I'm nymph fishing... I'm not fishing water that's over two or two and a half feet deep and most of it is 12 to 18 inches so that gets down really quick anyway so I'm going to take my uh, whip finish and I'm going to whip finish this on Go ahead and tug that tight and remove that. And there you go. You can see that there's the two pieces. You can easily untwist it and put some dubbing in between. Now I'll take just a little bit of my UV Cure or my head cement, Sally Hansen. And put a little bit on the head. This does not need a top coat. It's 100% tack free. It 
So here we have a pink semi pertagon nymph with the micro glint from Bearskin Outfitters. And once again, Bearskin Outfitters, Amazon.com slash shops slash Bearskin Outfitters. Really, I think it's a really good deal on them threads. So, hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies for me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it there, I'll be glad to work with you on whatever you want. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.